and welcome to Lessons by Lumen. I'm Matt Lumen, and this is part of an ongoing video series where we dive into safety topics that are relevant to you. I don't know what could be more relevant this time of year than heat stress. I live in Texas. It is hot just about every day, so it's something that we constantly have to worry about. Other areas might have to worry more about job-specific factors. So that's if you work in a shop, you're working near a piece of running equipment, or other source of radiant heat, you will have a higher risk of getting a heat-related illness. Now there's four different types of heat-related illness. There's heat rash, cramps, exhaustion, and stroke. First one right there is heat rash. This is when you get clusters of red bumps on your skin, maybe your arms, your legs, uh, the folds of your skin. What you want to do is move to a different work area if you can, cool off, take a break, should have no other issue. Second one is heat cramps. Now this is when you start to lose um, through sweating some of your salts, so you, your, your body starts to cramp up. You might get in your legs, your abdomen, your back, and what you want to do is replace those electrolytes. So you want to drink water, replace electrolytes, and take a break. Next one, heat exhaustion. This is when your body is trying to regulate its temperature, but it's having a hard time doing so. So you might be excessively sweating, you might be irritable, dizzy, nauseous. All those signs are, are symptoms of heat exhaustion. What you want to do for this is same as above, but if there's no improvement within about, let's say, 60 minutes, you want to seek a medical evaluation and not return to work that same day. Now this last one, heat stroke, now this is a medical emergency. So what you want to do first with any medical emergency is call 911. After that you want to cool the person down. Now heat stroke is when the person's lost their ability to regulate the temperature on their own. So you might stop sweating, the, you might see them with dry red skin. They could faint, they could have a seizure, they could even die from this, it's very serious. So really you want to be on the lookout for this in not only yourself but people you're working with. Now to do this, OSHA has a tool called the Heat Safety App and you could download this on your phone and what it does is it goes into signs, symptoms, what to do, what to look for and it also gives you a heat index of the area that you're at so that you know what to do. Here's what it looks like. This app creates a heat index based on the temperature and the humidity. It gives you your risk level of the location that you're at or a location that you set. With the risk, it tells you the precautions to take, the signs and symptoms, and more details on what to do. Thanks for watching. Links are below for more information on anything that we talked about. Please hit like and subscribe to be notified about all the upcoming videos that we have. Remember, keep learning and we're better together.